So this, this slide talks about how companies are using AM. I Mark, we're at uh, the NEC Advanced Manufacturing, but could you tell us a little bit more about additive manufacturing? Because I was listening to your seminar for a little bit, but how important is it to the market? Oh, I think it's increasingly important now. We're starting to see it become a, a mainstream production process rather than something that's just been used for prototyping and tooling. So that, that transition is really underway. We're seeing you know, major companies now really committing to, to investment in facilities for, for manufacturing series production parts. So it's, yeah, it's a real shift happening in the market right now. And um, how many solutions do Renishaw offer to the market? Um, well, in terms of numbers of machines, not that many. We have two, two main platforms. One is a production oriented platform. One is a more flexible platform, which is more suited to development uh, and research environments. But the thing about the technology is it, it's so flexible that you, know, you, you, you don't need different machines to make each different part. It's not like machine tools where you have hundreds of different varieties. You really only need a few different sizes to cope with the range of parts, sizes that you need to make. And what typical sectors are you seeing investing in additive mm. manufacturing? Where, where is that at the moment? Well, the obvious ones are medical and aerospace. You know, they've been leading the charge for, for many years now, and they're pretty mature. We have our own medical business making dental implants and, and uh, cranial maxillofacial implants, for example. So, you know, that's, that's a, that's a well-established business. Uh, and, of course, the aerospace sector, jet engines, aerostructures, and so on, are all now really looking at additive as a, as a mainstream process. But it's not confined to those guys now. We're really starting to see now stronger interest, albeit at a slightly earlier stage. Stage in, in automotive, in oil and gas, uh, in consumer electronics, in consumer sporting goods, and so on. So it's becoming a much, much broader base now of, of interest in additive to, to create innovative new products that, that really create value for the customers in those sectors. And for those engineers that obviously don't catch up with you at shows, how can you? How can they reach you? Can they have live demos of products? Or how does that work with Renishaw? Absolutely. Well, we have you know a number of facilities here in the UK, so you know companies are very, very welcome to come and uh, you know come to our showrooms in in Gloucestershire and in uh, in Stone and Staffordshire for additive. Um, we also have a solution centre, which is a facility that I'm responsible for, which is uh, where we work in depth with customers that are you know got the you know, a serious intent to, to put additive into production, but want to you know, gain confidence, understanding, and to de-risk their, their investment decision, if you like. So that's where they can get hands-on with the technology rather than just learning about it from afar uh, and, and get the engineering support to help them to develop industrial processes. And how big is it to Renishaw in reference to additive manufacturing? What percentage of the business is it for you guys? I'm not allowed to tell you that. Um, it's a growing percentage, that's all I can say. I mean, it's a, you know, it's a very rapidly growing business right now. You know, 30, 40% per year growth in demand for AM machines. So, you know, you can imagine that's, a, that's a, a growing part. It's certainly a very big area of investment for the company right now. Mark, thanks very much for your time. You're welcome. Thank you.